What is going on dudes, my name is Love13, welcome back to the Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. So, if you remember in the last episode, we made it to Lunio City, we also beat the gym leader of Santa Loon City. Uh, so it was a pretty long episode, and we did get a new pair, as you do see by the sidebar. Uh, we have here, uh, Vivalon and Wingu. I named the Vivalon Lindsay because, um... I didn't actually mention it, I didn't nickname the Vivalon in the video, so the thing is I went and I looked up names of, like, common names of butterflies, and there was a butterfly called the Lindsay something, I don't remember what it was, but, uh, I decided I'd call the Vivalon Lindsay, because that sounded good to me, and it's a pretty name anyway, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna move on, we already got our encounter for this route, and we're gonna continue, I didn't do anything since the last episode, and I did teach this thing, um, freaking struggle bug once again. And luckily, it was a, it's a freaking TM, so that was that was helpful. I didn't have to go and get a heart scale in Auras, which was nice. Anyways, um, we got a battle Tierno here. My goodness, Pokemon hearts are certainly intense. Yeah, they used to make a dance team like Pokemon, aren't they? I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, Tierno, do you think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even their Pokemon battles, I was checking out their moves. And my feet just start moving too, it can't help it, you know? Like with Soul Dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Oh, hey, Olivia, do your Pokemon know any street moves? Show me a battle. Dun. Ben, dun, 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 I don't even know. Anyway, I think my DS is actually set an hour behind anyway, so. Because <laughs> if you don't know, the day I'm recording this is not the day it's going up, but uh, the day I'm recording this is the day of, um... You have to set your clocks forward, and I, I I set the clocks upstairs actually an hour earlier, and they were already set. Um, so I I'll need to go change those soon. But anyways, um, it's just kind of funny. Obviously, my phone and my computer are on time, but my DS is behind, and so are the clocks upstairs. So I need to go do that later. But eh, it's not that important. I can deal with it later. Anyway. I don't, I don't like how that our team is so strong. That's the one thing. We're really, really, really overleveled. That was some nice footwork. I will take your money. I still like the outfit. I want to get a better shirt, probably. I do like the fedora, though. The green fedora looks good. So, see you, Olivia. Excuse me. I mean, I meant Olivia. <laughs> it really does seem as though Tiano can only think about dancing and moves. When a heart of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching him. Well, yeah, Travis, coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance team is my dream, after all. I was born to dance. I would never stop. No moves like this. That is indeed a perfect dream for you, Tiara. I guess you showed just as much dedication my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good to be serious about something. Uh, Olivia, do you take this honey, won't you? I don't need it. It's kind of a waste of time. You say, how do you want to curse Pokemon hordes? I don't need hordes. The only way I'd need a horde is if I wanted to trade out a specific Pokemon. And I think you can get Scrafties and, like, Gulpins or I think, are in the next round. Maybe you can get them here. I don't know, dude. Uh, we ran into some Scrafties earlier, so that's how I know that part, but I don't know. All right, and I hit the Struggle Bug, even with the Kinesis. Sweet. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm yawning so much, dude. I, I swear the lights, are lights help me typically, but today is just not one of those days. <laughs> anyway, sick tricks, bo oh, gosh dang it. Sick tricks, boy. So, speaking of sick tricks, um, I recently, yesterday, got my capture card to work, my Roxio, because it was not working. Like, for the longest time, I could not get the thing to work, and I'm really glad it is, because now I can play games like Skate, or if I wanted to do the, I wanted to do a franchise mode on Arena Football when that game comes in, because I, I ordered a copy of the 2006 Arena Bowl game. Um, I am really excited to play that, actually. Because I've been like addicted to arena football lately. I've been watching so many matches from all the from the different season or I'm um, from different matches from this season, um, most recent one, and it's just it's fun. It's it's fun. I'm I'm enjoying it. I I don't know why. I just decided to start going back in arena football. I remember one day uh, when I was a lot younger, just turning on the TV one day and finding an arena bowl game, like the actual arena bowl, and I watched it. And I don't remember who it was, but. Anyway, it used to be a team uh, called the Kansas City Brigade, and then they became the Kansas City Command. And then I don't know if they disbanded or if they moved to a different arena league, but they just disappeared, like, altogether. Um, so I, I, I do, I am kind of wondering what happened to them. And the thing is, in the Arena Bowl game, the, the, the name 
had not come out, like, what they were going to use. So they're just labeled as the Kin City KC, rather than, um, whatever. Anyway. And I always wondered, was that their name before the, the Brigade? <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those things. I haven't had that game forever, and I probably sold it, because that's what I did with a lot of my stuff. Is I just sold it, because I didn't want it, really. But I, I really wish that Gumi would get something like Dragon Breath. I want a nice... Like, you know, dragon-type move. I don't even know how it evolves. No, I'm sorry, Brooke. We cannot battle. Ooh, a TM. Phone claws. Meh. <laughs> it's not that great. I'm gonna be honest. It's not too bad, though. It's definitely not a bad TM. That's for sure. All right, you've got a D-Duo. All right. D-D-D-Duo. It's a d d d d d d d And three bubbles takes down the D-Duo. Good job. Gumi. I like Gumi. I really like this Gumi. It's really, it's really help. It's very, it's been very helpful, actually. You've got the Bidoof. I love Bidoof. Alright, well, it shouldn't hopefully to be too hard. <laughs> and infestation in a couple of bubbles takes down the Bidoof. Yeah. Good job, Gumi. Proud of you. Now you've got an Oddish. I think I'll stay in. I'm not really scared of it. It's all I think it has is absorb. It used acid once and then it decided to go for absorb. And I got my sap super boost to allow me to take it down. <laughs> Good job, Gumi. I love Sentra and Furret, so sad to see this Sentra go down one hit. Love you. You're so cute. And goodbye, Pantage. I don't know. There's a lot of Pokemon in Unova that I'm extremely fond of. And, uh, Unova was definitely one of my favorite regions. I think second only to second gen, really. Because I love Johto. Uh, we are in Camp Freer Town. Sweet. We got a hollow clip. I don't care, let me be. What's this? A star piece. Cool. Little extra money. Awesomeness. Forgot this is back here. How's it going? I'm Cassius. Check this out. A PC box running. Bill over Kanto. Okay, so, cool. You got something you want to ask me? Trace? Trace are totally awesome. Let's just select a bunch of Pokemon at a time and move them around. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Take this. Thief! Ooh! I thought she was calling me a thief. Awesome, I forgot that was here. Ooh, look who... <laughs> what? You know, the two Pokemon I'd expect to learn this would be able... Would be Halucha and Charmander. And neither of them can learn it, but the three can learn it are a butterfly, a bird, and a thing that has... Stub arms. What? Everyone in this town just gives you stuff. Awesome. Talk to everyone. I got a freaking berry juice. I got a whole bunch of other things. I'm I'm happy about that. And a sweetheart. Told you. Everyone gives me everything. He has he wants to see a dragon type, so I'll give I'll show you my Gumi. Um, do you get good vibes? Which pair berry do I want? Let's go Ross, because I'm going to get a uh, Petcha and Orin from the berry farms. Okay, so I literally just spent, like, all of my money. <laughs> and I can get an amulet coin here in Parfum... Or, is this Parfum Palace? Uh, no. This is the Chavano Castle, excuse me. Hi, Olivia! I don't really want to do this. This is... He's gonna tell us about stuff, and it doesn't matter. This is freaking stuck in my hair... In my hair. My head. Because of how many times I went back and forth, back and forth, breeding Pokemon. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, so I kind of want to avoid these trainers. Is that a TM? That's a TM. I want to get that. I want to avoid these trainers, though. I can't... Oh, well. Damn it. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter what my encounter is. It's a Venipede. That's cool. So, uh, this is the Pokemon I will be catching and trading off. Cool stuff. Alright, I was going to try to use a, um, whatever you call it, Stun Spore, but it was using Rollout. And I was hoping it would miss, but look, if we can catch it, then I won't even have to worry about that. Boom! Sweet stuff! I was obviously worried about Roll Rollout because that's four times super effective against my Vivalon, and that could have been bad, and I don't want to lose my Vivalon. Alright, I have to battle her. I can't act... I wonder if I could have gone to the other side of the, s side of the walk and avoided her. I, I want to save as many of these people... Oh my gosh. Sorry, I was adjusting the... Like, the audio buffer is really weird. Um, because obviously it has to delay it in order to be able to produce decent quality audio. Um, because it, it can't do it, it's, it's not the same exact time. It's pretty darn close, but it's not the same exact time. 
Um, a raw, I, well, I either have to stay in or swap. I'm gonna stay in, I suppose, because wing attack will probably one-shot it. And one-shot. I was right. Because <laughs> obviously, uh, both, these, the, the, the problem with this pair is they're both weak to fairy. That's the problem. <laughs> Halucha is so strong! One wing attack did that, well, I suppose it's a Gulpin. And Gulpin's good in special defense, not really physical. I don't know. I love this view right there. That's like the prettiest view in the game. Just running through that the, the tunnel. It's so pretty. And I'm going to avoid all the trainers that are on these routes, obviously, until I get the amulet coin because I kind of want the amulet coin. But let's, uh, you can call a field the photo guy. Let's do it. Sure. I don't know. That's a good photo. We'll take that. Anyway, I don't even have the funds in order to get in here. So I have like a couple. I don't, I don't have the money. You gotta be kidding, cost money to go in. What, you don't even, I suppose I can just let you in past the gate. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the thousand dollars to give you because I kind of spent it all on potions and Pokeballs. Don't try to sleep in the king's bed, it's a regal. Ha. Huh. Trying to use mean luck on me. That was awful. Just awful. I hopped in the bed and fell asleep. I <laughs> used my Pokemon, nice. Oh, it's a Meryl. I could have had one that would have been green. Rear, rear. Slow down, Meryl. I'm too tired to play. Ooh, here's the amulet coin. Yeah. Well, I'll get a look at these chairs. They're absolutely terrific. Get it? They're simply perfect. What a brilliant design. The puns. All right. Well, I'm done <laughs> with that. <laughs> uh, sadly, we're going to see the fireworks in the day. I forgot about that. It's a chandelier. And I found cut in its eyeball. It's really cool how they give you a top-down look. I could never understand what this was uh, when I first played the game, but it's definitely a chandelier. Is it chirogonal? I think that's what it is. Cryo cryogonal? I don't know what it's how to pronounce it. Oh, I didn't even know there was a Zekrom statue in the garden. Look at that. Doesn't let you get a good look at it like the Reshiram one you can. Or can you even? I don't know. It's a Pokeball. I never have gotten this item over here. It's a guard spec. All right. Well, I can sell that. That'll be nice. Woof. 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 It's kind of funny because, like, if you didn't know, that's how in 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 French, that's how they personify or not personify. They uh, that's the onomatopoeia for woof is woof woof woof. That's how they um, they think dog or they. I don't know how to explain it. You should know what I mean though. Oh, okay. Well, didn't mean to do that. Whoopsies. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. No, we caught it because we cornered it into the middle of the hedges. All right, we'll teach Cut to the, our Charmander and get rid of Scratch for it. Because why not? No, Bronzor. Bronzor. I think it's Bronzor. And there's the Reshiram statue. See, so you get a good look at this one. All right, now we can go out. Come on, go out of the freaking balls. There we go. <laughs> I hate how it changes the controls. But look at that. Look how good that looks. I love that view. But you can see how there's no, um, whatever. But let's see. So that one, there's the soul. The top one's the soul rock. Is that Pyroar? It, it, I think it's Pyroar. Okay. It doesn't look too bad in the daytime, actually. At least these fireworks don't. It would look so much better at night, but... They, dar they purposely darkened it to make it look more like night. I didn't actually realize running was still on a grid when you use the circle pad. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. All right, we're going to go the quote-unquote easier route first. Um, just because, I don't know. Tallgrass, tall you're telling me Pokemon are lurking in here? I don't even know what kind of po person this is. Kind of person. Oh, okay. He doesn't look like the hick kind, but you know, can't say nothing. <laughs> when your Vivalon beats a Fletchling. Nice. When it had Peck. <laughs> oh, there's a trainer. Thing to feed a man at the peak of his happiness. Think again. Oh, it's, a, it's one of the hipsters. That's who it is. All right. Struggle bug the Volbeat. Oh, nearly knocked it out. Infestate. Oh, I don't have infestation up. Never mind. And snap out of confusion. Even with this double team up, I did not miss an attack against it. Sweet. So, Wivalon's gonna get a lot of XP for that and level up to level 15. Not gonna learn anything yet, because I think it's 17 when it learns Psybeam. 
Little feet like this won't get me down $2,016. Thank you very much. Another trainer. I'm determined to see everything Kalos has to offer. Come on, bring out your Pokemon. Okay. I don't know what I... <laughs> Just sitting there staring at the camera. Okay. Oh my gosh. It, it waited till literally the last turn I would need to knock it out to use Moonlight. It's a good thing she's paired with a freaking Charmander because he's going to need to come out and handle this thing. I just used Ember, and it char it's charmed me twice so far. So I have minus four attack, but that really doesn't matter. Um, Alright, it's just letting itself die. It may have used all its Moonlights, actually. I think it's only used four, though, but it doesn't matter. Took down the Illumius. Thank goodness, because I hate fighting Illumius in this game. In any game, actually. I mean, Illumius is a great Pokemon. I love it shiny, but I don't know. It's just trying to battle it is terrible. Dragon Rage. Nice. We're getting rid of smoke screen off the bat. And we're gonna get a Charmeleon. Our first evolution of the episode. Or not episode. The seas the, the series. I mean, it's only been I, I suppose three episodes, but still. Actually, no, Curly evolves into Curly at twenty. Well, are you really good? Are you famous in these parts? No. I wish, but no, not yet. We got a Charmeleon! That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, there's a trainer here. Today's the day I begin my bath to be... <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. A Krogunk. <laughs> Goodbye. And... Sorry, Krogunk. It doesn't help your level 11. But he, probably if you were even level 20, that still would have one-shot you because it's four times super effective. And confusion does over half it. And it confused it. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, it hit itself. Luck is on my side today, dude. All right, well, goodbye, Beedrill. Paralyze heal. That's why I went through all that. Or that. Oh, that's how I get up there. I was wondering, like, how how do I get up there? It's Venoshock. Sweet. When do I, I don't. Hmm. Gumi may be the only one who can learn it. I don't know. That'd be awesome, actually, if Gumi can learn that. That'd be sick. No one can learn it. Yay. I don't remember the Pokemon. Oh, she's got a Pikachu. Okay. I was right. I'm thinking in my head. I don't know what she's got. But, yeah. So, on this team, we have a weakness to uh, electric. And uh, we have a weakness to... We have to weakness to fairy on one of our pairs. Invista is infestation physical? Is it really physical? I'm pretty sure it's special. Like, what? That doesn't even make any sense, man. And then... I'm not sure if we have a like a defining weakness of our other pair, but um, we're gonna swap out a Vivalon because he's because she's paralyzed. And Pidgey is down. And the Psyduck is down. Good job, Wingle. That's gonna get it to level 17. Cool. Ooh, there's an item over here that I didn't even notice. <gasps> what is it? An ether. I'm glad I picked that up. Actually, that'll be helpful. Can I actually skip these people. This is probably the hardest battle in the entire. Uh, area. It's the turf, two fur, fur fruits. So I have my best pair up. Uh, my Howlidge and my Gumi. They should be able to take care of them. Even with fur coat, I do half damage to that one fur fruit. Even though Growl's gonna lower my attack, which does suck. But ow! You piece of crap! All right, this fur fruit should hopefully go down. Yes, there we go. Oh, I got a crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. I don't really care if it did, cause. We beat the Furfro. Oh my gosh, that is like the hardest team to beat. Aerial Ace. There we go. Is that better than Wing Attack? Well, well, it's actually about, it's really the same. It just doesn't miss, so. All right, once more, I'm going to potion on my Gumi, and I think one more Karate Chop will take it out. Hopefully. Come on, Haluji, you got this. Oh no, so close. Infestation might take it out, though. Come on. Oh my goodness, we finally beat them. The trainer. Start a secret battle in the tall grass. Why? And the Esper goes down. Sweet. Okay, that's enough. I don't even care if there are more trainers. I'm done. My god. Alright guys, so I'm sorry if this is a short episode. Basically, we're gonna do the Snorlax. I'm going to attempt to catch it. And, um, if I catch it, the thing is, um, 
I'll play the fruit. Are you ready to stop it? Yeah, I'm ready. So, the thing is, um, I will be catching the Snorlax if I can. I will be trading that off as the partner to the Pokemon that I captured on the other route. This is not my encounter for this route. I, I, I don't really want to consider it. It's just, a, it's a static Pokemon. Um, so why not? If I catch it, then fine. If not, I don't really care. Um, I will do the entire route off screen. Um, and then we'll probably, and, and then maybe probably the cave, and then I'll do the rest of that and get to Geosense Town, because this episode, I mean, there's gonna be a ton of editing for this, just this one episode, because I'm gonna have to cut out so much, and, oh, I'm great, you're gonna up your special attack, or special, special defense, excuse me, it's a static Pokemon, so if Wingu gets knocked out, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't want Wingu to faint, but I want to catch the stupid Snorlax because it's an extra Pokemon that I can have. Really? All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're just running. I don't really want to waste my time or my money trying to capture this stupid thing. So we're good. I technically beat it. All right, everybody. This is where I'm going to be ending this episode of Pokemon uh, X or Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. If you enjoyed, like, so appreciated. Uh, as I said, I'll be completing this route and probably the cave before the next episode. I'll do the berry farm, and I will also wonder trade uh, the encounter for this route and the encounter that we caught in this episode off for another pair. So you guys will be seeing that at the beginning of the next episode. And I did not mention this, but there's going to be four episodes of this this week, and then two more Super Mystery Dungeon, no Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. One, I don't have a Wi-Fi battle, but the thing is, it's spring break, so I have more time, and I want to play more of these games, so I want to get some more episodes up. And, uh, the, the poll that I had on Twitter said that you guys would love to see that, so that's what we're doing. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, so appreciated. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'm sorry about that audio glitch. That happens, and I'm sorry, it, because it's stupid, but thank you all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will talk to you all later.